Hey everybody, my name is Bobby Borg and we are talking about business basics for musicians and I'm here with Lisa Chacho, an independent artist. How are you doing, Lisa? Pretty good, Bobby. Okay. Cool. So what we want to talk about today is career execution and execution is essentially the process of getting things done. So this is a very, very important topic when we're talking about musicians, right? I mean, a lot of people do a lot of talking and sometimes not a lot of doing. So um, what type of questions might you have for me regarding pursuing a career in the new music industry? Well, you know, sometimes I feel like a lot of musicians go into this with unrealistic expectations. Um, do you feel that way? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I think it's very, very important to have, um, you know, a very realistic, you know, outlook of the music industry. And in fact, if I might, I want to actually read a quote for you from our good friend Hunter S. Thompson. The music business is a cruel and shallow money trench, a long plastic hallway where thieves and pimps run free and good men die like dogs. There's also a negative side. <laughs> So, I mean, what that essentially means, and why would I start off with a quote like that? I mean, because essentially what I want to uh, make a point is that the music business is not for the thin-skinned. I mean, this isn't something, you know, you come out to Hollywood and you'll give it four months and you'll see if things work out. I mean, you have to be a lifer. I mean, you have to be in this game for, you know, sometimes years and years and years before you start to see things develop. And should things happen overnight, you know what? Uh, good for you. But the reality is, is that it's probably going to be a long, hard road and you have to be able to look at the down times or the hard times as inspiration and motivation to keep on pushing forward. You need to see, obviously, you know, um, the lessons in every bad experience, and you kind of have to look at your life as a movie. Suppose you were in a movie theater and you were watching the life of a musician coming up. I mean, you know, the down times, like where you're showering in the sink with like the bar of soap or like, you know, you're eating top ramen, you know, on Thanksgiving, you know, those are the moments where like the audience is going to be cheering for you and they're going to be like, go Lisa, you know, go, you can do it. You know I mean? Um, and at least, you know, it will help you kind of deal with some of the harder times. I mean, the idea is to potentially, um, you know, stay focused, stay motivated, and know that this is going to be a business of, of up and downs, you know, it might take a long time. Okay, so besides staying focused and staying motivated, I mean, in your book you talk about being proactive, but what does that even mean for a musician? How do you be proactive? Okay, um, a very, very good question. I mean, essentially the idea behind that is that, you know, you want to attract the attention of those that can help you by first helping yourself. So in other words, a lot of times people, you know, they, they feel as though somebody is going to come save them. You know, that personal manager or agent or producer is going to come save them um, and take them from this level up to there overnight again. You know, what you really have to do is you have to take charge of your career. You have to roll up your sleeves, take the bull by the horn, whatever metaphor you want to use. And you have to start creating attention out there. You know, the idea is to light as many little fires as you possibly can. And eventually people will see the smoke. Smoke. So it, it, in reality, I mean, it's just creating momentum, you know, moving forward and not waiting for anyone to decide, you know, your destiny. So this is a very, very important concept. Um, in the next segment, what I'd like to talk about, I'd like to talk about something called business relationships. And business relationships deals everything with, you know, forming your own band, being a solo artist, being an independent contractor and freelance musician. So we're going to talk about that next. Cool? Great. All right. Excellent. So definitely make sure to come back, you guys. Thanks.